In this video, I will be showing you the process that I use every time to build websites that often get featured on uh, website inspirations. So you can see one of these is uh, this marketing agency website that I built with no code tools and no design experience. So yeah, the most important thing is that I build websites that do not require you to be a designer or developer. And I will explain you the process, how you can charge 1,000, 5,000 for a website like this without writing a single line of code or without having deep experience with Figma. So the first step is whenever I start working on a project is I like to create three options for a hero section. So this is the hero section, which is the main section of the website. And I like to give client the option that he can choose. And I do not need to design three options from scratch. That would be too long and that would require a budget that a lot of clients don't have. So what I usually do is I need to find three templates from Framer Marketplace. One is this, uh, another is this pretty similar. And the final is actually from Framer. So if I type block Framer, it has a few different pages and I'm really liking it, the colors, the wipes. So what I usually do is I take these three templates and I just change the content on the hero section and send it to the client for him to choose the style he wants to go with. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open ChatGPT or Perplexity and I'm ju just going to tell him the description of the website. So it's a uh, AI powered note taking app, basically a traditional notes app like Apple, but with the ability to use it, interact with AI, with the voice and the text. So, and I'm just going to say write content for a hero section. Uh, because I'm just going to focus on a hero section before I'm building the rest of the website. So I'm just going to send it to Perplexity and see the response. So headline, you're not smarter. Uh, for the headline, it's too short. And subheadline, it uh, might be okay, but there is no uh, button. Or it says call to action here, which is button, but it's uh, too much text for one button. And key features are uh, should not be placed in the hero section. That's the big problem with... Uh, perplexity so i created space in perplexity so it's like a chatgpt wrapper that actually has some instructions that i've given to him so basically you can just uh, take a screenshot or copy this and when you want to write the text you can use this uh, it just basically says to have uh, the structure so for the nav bar it should list always a nav bar with six items it should always have two buttons in the hero section if i need to remove one button i just can remove that by myself it should have about the fold. So it's basically this on every website. We have about the fold, which is this. I'd like to by default to have it, but with the ability that I can just remove it if I don't need it. Uh, then we have the headline, max eight to 10 words. So the description, I'd like it to also include it with a 12, 25 to 30 words description. Also very important to have it and two buttons in the uh, under the text. So basically we have uh, two buttons in the headline and also two buttons under the text. So that's what I've included here. And I can just now start a new thread and I can paste the same text here and see that this text is it's much better structure. The only reason I shouldn't have selected the pro search should be auto. But yeah, I can see that it has a headline. It has all the navigation items. What I can do now is go to Figma and open the template and start updating the content. So basically I can just take the headline and I can make a duplicate of it, delete these images or even keep those and just copy all of the necessary content to send to the client. I can make it a little bit uh, smaller, of course. This is just to select the style. I can copy description and I can paste the description here as well. Obviously I can also put here the image of the application, but I'm just gonna remove this for now here. And update menu also is uh, good just to show the clients that it's uh, looking similar to what the finish uh, page would look like. So just uh, updating the menu, we have a pricing and also we have a support. So basically we can, we can keep the updates and help. I think this is very relevant to our application. So I'm just gonna keep with this. So this would be the first option that I would send to the client. Obviously I think that I might cha change some options, spend like 10 to 20 minutes to working with the images that the client has. And by the end, I would come up with something like this. So maybe changing the colors, maybe changing the elements themselves. So from this, I can work a little bit and create something like this.
So for the other options that I can send to a client is this template. It has a lot of pages. So I'm just going to copy this feature page for the hero section. I'm going to paste it here. And uh, so obviously I would change the text here. And uh, as we did in the previous option, so changing the text, make, making it not a component so I can actually change the elements. It's not a problem because this is just a Figma file. This is not the primary file. Uh, yeah, and as I mentioned, the best thing about this is it's already built in Framer. So once I've changed the text, once I made all the necessary changes, I can just then bring it over to Framer and it's already optimized for mobiles. It's adaptive. It has all the components and stuff like that. So it's very easy and very fast for me to bring it over to Framer without hiring a developer or without developing myself, but at the same time, charging the client for the whole process for the design development and uh, actually bringing the result much more faster than what I would did if I try to build it from scratch. At the same time, I can charge more for the ability to do that this fast and just doing it alone, not uh, multitasking or hiring other people. I think that's uh, the big reason that you can charge more for this than you would charge if you do it with a team or uh, longer than I can do without the team. So for the hero section, I would just change this to apply to put the client's image, just basically remove all of it and place the image that the client provided. So once I've applied all of the text and edits, this would be the result for the hero section. Basically the image of the application. We have the text, the buttons, we have the features here at the bottom and all of them are related to the projects, so audio notes, AI assistants, organizations. And this would be the two options that I would send to the client. And the third option would be from this, uh, but I like this page, it has the video. I think it looks good for what I'm building. So I'm gonna take also this option, maybe add a little bit, a little bit more color to this page. So I'm gonna show you how I later use these icons to make them more colorful and to make them stand out more so it doesn't look that plant. And for this hero section, I'm just gonna use a Framer to Figma plugin and I'm going to change the colors. I'm going to change uh, the elements and this is the result that we would have. So obviously it looks a little bit different. So for the color, I don't really like this gradient. So I'm going to update it very quickly. I like this gradient more. So I'm going to create new style, just give it a random name and then select all of the elements with this gradient here and update it. So it looks much better. I'm just going to select and select this gradient that I just created. I think this looks much more closer to what the client has. Maybe I can, uh, you can see it's uh, not very good positioning. So I can unselect it and make, make it a little bit more uh, better. So maybe the same here. I don't like the transition here. So I'm going to select it and maybe move it a little bit like this and do the same here. Uh, yeah, so this would be the third option. So after the three options are finalized, once I design the hero section, once I design the colors, the fonts, etc. Then I would create a quick loom video just showing all of these versions. For example, I would select this option and I would go through the rest of the page showing you this is the template and this is how the rest of the page might look like if we choose this style. Then I would do about this page. So I would go and I'd say, so the, uh, this is the template, the original, and this is what the page might look like if we select this style with all of these elements and with all of these interactions. So we would keep them if the client chose this style. And obviously I would choose this style as well and select. And I would also record a video about this style and show how the website might look like if we select this style. Um, yeah. After the client select one, let's say the client likes this option more. Then I would build everything in Figma once again. Sometimes I would go straight in Framer. So once the client chooses this template, I can then just basically add the colors, add all of the elements in Framer without building in Figma. But this time I've select, I've chosen to build it everything in Figma first. So we have everything uh, figured out before I build it. Depending on which version client selects, I can after that go straight into Framer and build everything there. So let's say for this option client chooses this middle option, I would go to Framer and start building it from there. And that's straightforward from there. It's uh, very easy to build everything. So that's what I did. If I go to here, we can see that this is already building framer with uh, the rest of the sections. 
So if I can preview it, we have some animations of when appearing. We have this video hover of the mouse change and it's pretty actually easy to build. We just go to clicks, it's overlay and for the cursor, it's uh, you can select the cur cursor, you can replace, replace it and uh, you can click it and we can overlay with the video itself. And then we have the section with the feature of the app. So basically some of the description and if I can show you the animations that we have here. So you can hover and you can see the animations of the gradient here. You can see the animation here when you will click on the watch video as well. The same thing is here. We can see more features. Uh, this section that you've seen from the template, just changing the text, changing some icons to be similar to the content that we're working with. So this is the icon that you saw on the other page that I've redesigned to have more colors, to have more of them popping up not just a black color, which is a little bit bland. So then we had this section, which is redesigned, uh, was this section, I, obviously it wouldn't work for the note taking app. So I had to redesign it a little bit. I had to create it in Figma and then I had to just export it and put into Framer here. So then we have much more. So pretty much similar to the section, just changing the content and changing the images. Uh, coming soon section, also the section that was already pre-built. We have pricing here as well that you can hover over the elements and free and ask questions and footer. So this is the process that I do every time I build new websites. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe.